Welcome back to another quick self-help video. Today, I'm going to tell you the formula of how to become rich. Watch this episode until the end, and you will discover the master key of how to become wealthy. Before we start diving into it, bear in mind that this video will not contain any quick fix solution or any get rich quick scheme, as these things rarely work. In this episode, we will focus on the inner game you will need to master in order for you to become rich. This is a foundational episode. The key insight you need to take from this video is that money problems are not external. They are internal problems. Whether you're struggling to pay your bills or you want to become a millionaire, this insight applies to you. Any money issues you have cannot be fixed by getting more cash because these problems are psychological. If you want to become rich, you need to be ready for it. There are no secrets, and there are no get-rich-quick schemes, unless you win the lottery. The truth is, you've got to work for it, but you need to work smart. So, what do I mean by saying money problems are internal? Here's how it works. Most of the people are not wealthy because they hold too many limiting beliefs about themselves. What? How is that possible? I know, it sounds crazy, right? You need to understand that the subconscious mind is the number one reason people are not wealthy. For example, if a person believes he or she is not good enough to earn over $20,000 a month, they will never earn that amount. Or, if someone believes that money is evil and anti-spiritual, they will never become rich. People may also hold beliefs about money being too hard to make, because the market is already full and the corporations have the power. Others may believe that they cannot make money in their field or that they don't have enough capital to start a new business. Those are just a few examples of the limiting beliefs one might hold about money. I hope you start to appreciate now the power of those beliefs. You need to turn inwards and see that the external obstacles are illusions. Your poor understanding about money is the real issue. To become rich, you need to shift your paradigm. To become rich, you need to rewire your mind. In other words, you need to change your psychology. To help you do that, I will give you a few examples which will make things easier for you to understand. Consider the following scenarios and understand the difference between the poor and the rich. Rich people think abundance. Poor people think lack. Forget about any lack you have. Maybe you lack a good education, a good family, a good relationship, or maybe you lack finances. Understand that this is completely normal as we cannot be perfect. The truth is, it doesn't matter what you lack. The point is not to focus on what you lack. By focusing on the negative, you attract negative. First, you need to become rich inside, and then you will be rich outside. Focus on the positive and allow that possibility to happen. In a good sense, we can say that you must delude yourself, see yourself out there as being wealthy, allow that possibility to be created. Think of Muhammad Ali. He named himself the greatest before he became the number one. He always thought of himself being the best to the point where he actually became. Another good example is Conor McGregor. He would also see himself being the champion before actually being one. What these guys have in common is their mentality they see themselves as being in a particular way, hence, they create that opportunity. Imagine any of them saying, you know what, I cannot be champion. The competition is too tight. The others are better than me. You must believe you can become wealthy before anything else. You have to decide you want to be successful. Everything boils down to the identity you create of yourself. If you perceive yourself as being a smoker, you will smoke. If you perceive yourself as not being a smoker, you will not smoke. We can apply exactly the same principle for your finances. Think of yourself as being rich. Create that identity of yours, and you'll allow that possibility to be created. Understand that your beliefs construct everything around you, and your beliefs are very hard and deeply wired in your subconscious mind. Because of that, you must be aware of what you believe and how that affects your day-to-day -day activities. To change your beliefs, you must work with yourself. For the purposes of this video, I won't go into too many details about how to change your beliefs. However, if you want to find out more about the different ways of how you can change your subconscious mind, 
make sure you subscribe to this channel right now as I am going to release a video about this topic. To become rich, you must develop a strong work ethic. Before you become rich, you must understand that there are no quick fix solutions to our problems. We live in a world where the society has made it very difficult for us to appreciate these things. Because we are bombarded with services and products which promise quick fix solutions to everything, it is very easy to fall into this trap as our marketers have become very effective at what they do. The truth is, the technology has become so advanced these days that it is easier than ever to become rich. There are many domains which are profitable enough and there are many opportunities which allow you to become rich. However, understand that if you want to become rich, you need to work for that. To become rich requires that you make sacrifices and you got to be willing to spend many extra hours working overtime. You must come with your own formula as how to become wealthy. You won't become rich by luck. Take 100% responsibility for what happens to your finances. Do not blame the system, the society, the people, the economy, or anything else, but your fears, limiting beliefs, poor understanding of this particular domain, your psychology, etc. Be responsible and realize that you are your number one enemy. Because this is a domain like anything else, you've got to understand that this is something you can master. To be really good at something, it takes time. But more important than that is that you can learn and apply that knowledge over and over again. This is a lifelong process. If you don't know what mastery is and what it takes to become a master, go watch my video called How to Become a Master. Understand that it takes time to build something new and that you need to work for that. To become rich, you must have clarity. You must know why you want to become wealthy. You must have a life purpose. I cannot stress this idea hard enough, but believe me, it is super important. No matter how absurd this might sound, but most people are not wealthy because they don't want it bad enough. Have you ever seen a movie like Troy? Think of a movie which inspired you. I have always been fascinated by the clarity, the determination, the ambition, and the courage of the main character. Whenever I see a good movie, I recognize that the main character lives for only one thing, their life purpose. That character is so focused on what he wants that they leave no room for failure, most of the time being ready even to die for it. This is the kind of clarity and motivation you need to become wealthy. If you want to become successful in life, if you want to become rich, create a life purpose and live 100% for that. The beauty of this process lies behind the art of creation. You are free to create whatever you want as long as that matches yourself. Be focused, be persistent, and don't let yourself down. Develop that sense of purpose that passion, that motivation within yourself, and that will drive you every day. Find your inner positive motivation and use that as fuel in this whole process. Become clear of what you want, write down your goals, work on yourself and develop a big picture understanding about this entire domain. To become rich, make sure you don't let the past determine your future. It is very common among people to let themselves be influenced by their past experiences. Whether we are talking about finances, relationships, business, or any other field, everyone has had either a good or a bad experience. For example, someone might be afraid to begin a new relationship because they were heartbroken in the past. In this situation, they are fearful of opening themselves up to the possibility of being loved again. Recognize that what they do is that they try to protect themselves of being hurt by closing themselves. On the other hand, Someone might believe that the world is cruel and negative because of the way they were treated in their childhood. Their childhood trauma makes it very hard for them to experience love or joy. In other cases, somebody might develop confidence and self-esteem due to their past success. Acknowledge the fact that no matter what we have experienced, the past has an influence upon the way we think in the present. Unfortunately, People tend to be influenced by their bad experiences more than they let themselves be influenced by their success. What I want you to understand is that the past is the past and it cannot control your future. No matter what happened to you, you must always go forward. Watch out for those limiting beliefs you hold. Understand that everything happens inside of your mind and that you can always change the situation you find yourself in. Thinking of the past is only good when it comes to learning from the mistakes you made. 
If you find yourself in a situation like that, the best thing you can do is to remind yourself that your thoughts create the reality. Everything happens inside your mind, and most of the time, that is a poor reflection of the surroundings. If you perceive the world being in a certain way, that paradigm is purely created by your beliefs, which are mostly shaped by your past experiences. The way you feel is a reflection of the way you interpret what happens around you. So, this is the foundation you need to build in order to become rich. You need to understand that you must earn that money. The quick fix solutions or the pyramid schemes rarely work. You need to come up with your own formula of how to become rich. And to do that, you need to develop a strong work ethic. Create a better identity of yourself and watch out for any limiting beliefs you might hold. Have clarity and take 100% responsibility for what happens around you. Develop a strong life purpose and don't let yourself be influenced by your past experiences as that will hold you back. I hope you start to see things a little bit clearly now. In the next video, I'll give you a couple of practical steps which you can apply right away in order to become rich. So make sure you don't miss that video by subscribing to this channel. Go ahead and write your comments down below if you have any questions. I would love to hear your thoughts about this. Thank you for watching this video and if you find value in this content, remember to like and share this video with a friend. If you really want to improve yourself, if you really want to achieve great things in life, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I can help you get there. It is not enough to watch only one video as this process takes time. Stay with me and I'll make sure I'll remind you every week about the things you need to focus on. Check out our Instagram page and find your daily inspiration right there. Stay well, stay focused.